You must have heard in the news that scientists have discovered a leak in the Pacific Ocean's floor and they even say it is a matter of great concern. In this video we're going to understand the concept of ocean leaks, how does it occur and the possible consequences for the living beings living above the land. On April 15th it was reported that there is a hole at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. It lies 80 km from the coast of Oregon. On the 965 km long Cascadia subduction zone fault line between Vancouver Island and Northern California. Through that hole water was coming and this water has a different composition from the regular sea water of the Pacific Ocean. Later it was found the water that was coming from the hole was 9 degrees Celsius warmer than the water around the hole and further it was fresh water and not salt water. Now this is where things got interesting. First of all it is not unusual to find a hole in the ocean bed. I mean underwater volcanoes erupt that way. So it is not something unusual. But what is more interesting is that warm water is coming out of the hole instead of lava or magma and that to the water is not salt water it is fresh water. Totally different composition. This hole in the ocean bed is called ocean leak. I have also showed you the location. Now let's try to understand how it occurs. If you look at the map the whole Pacific Ocean is one massive oceanic plate and then there is the North American plate. Now in between the two over here along the coast of Northern California, Oregon, Seattle and Vancouver you will find a minor plate which is called the Juan de Fuca plate. It is an oceanic plate. You can call this a micro plate, a small tectonic plate that is subducting under the North American plate. When two tectonic plates collide one plate typically moves beneath the other in a process called subduction. In the case of the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate, the Juan de Fuca plate is the denser of the two plates and is therefore subducting beneath the North American plate. And this subduction zone is called as Cascadia subduction zone. This subduction zone is about 965 kilometers long. Now the question is why is this micro plate subducting under the North American plate? Well this is where you have to understand in between the Pacific plate and this micro plate if you go deep into the ocean bed you will see that both the plates are forming a divergent plate boundary which is causing mid-ocean spreading. You will also find a few underwater volcanoes in this region. Now due to divergent boundary that is being formed over here the micro plate that is Juan de Fuca plate is being pushed beneath the North American plate. This is called subducting and that is how this small tectonic plate is subducting under the North American plate. I hope this is clear so far. Now this subduction zone that is the area between Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate is called a mega thrust area. The reason it is called a mega thrust area is that these are the places that are typically prone to mega earthquakes, landslides, tsunamis and various other forms of geological disaster. If you look at the different layers of the earth on top you have the crust that is oceanic and continental crust. Below that you will find the uppermost mantle which is mainly composed of thick molten rock. So in a way we can say that both the continental and oceanic crust are floating on a layer of thick molten rock. And that is what is causing the tectonic plates to drift. Now we also cannot deny the fact that between the crust and the upper mantle there are many small as well as large pockets of water. You can also say that a huge reservoir of water is hidden between these two layers. After all the earth was once covered in water. So it can be argued that there is more water trapped in the layers of the earth than what we see on the surface. Now when two tectonic plates collide, one plate typically moves beneath the other in a process called subduction. In the case of Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate, the Juan de Fuca plate is the denser of the two plates and is therefore subducting beneath the North American plate. The boundary area between the two plates witnesses intense heat and pressure. You will also witness volcanic activity in this region. For example, the Cascade Range volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest are formed due to this reason. Now friction between two tectonic plates creates intense pressure. Moments back I told you about large pockets of water hidden between crust and the upper mantle. That means the existence of fluid is allowing the plates to glide against each other smoothly. So naturally there would be a lot of fluid pressure that is building up near the subduction zone. It is this fluid which is coming out from the holes of the Pacific Ocean bed. And that is the reason the temperature of the water that is coming out from the holes is also much warmer and the composition is different from regular salt water. Now what are the possible consequences if water keeps coming out from the holes? 
Now that you have understood the whole mechanism, as I've said, there are large pockets of water hidden between crust and the upper mantle. And it is this fluid that is allowing the plates to glide against each other smoothly. Now just imagine, if water keeps coming out from the holes, then naturally at some point, the fluid pressure will reduce. When these pockets of water get over or diminish, then these two tectonic plates will lock. When there is no fluid, the friction will be much more intense and stressful. This can result in earthquakes of 9.0 magnitude. As it is, the Pacific Northwest is known to experience a significant amount of seismic activity, including earthquakes. The region experiences many small earthquakes every year that are not typically felt by people. But occasionally, there are larger earthquakes. Now, everything comes down to the rate at which this minor plate is subducting beneath the North American plate and the amount of pressure that is building up along the fault lines. So, this is the whole story behind the ocean leak. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.